I spent almost $500 buying 10 pairs of Levi's jeans just to make this video for you guys. Let me put this down, this is kind of heavy. Five of those are the slim and taper fits and the other five are the raggedy and straight fits which I'll cover in another video so make sure you check that out as well. In this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about the skinny, slim, and taper fits so that includes the 502, the 510, the 511, the 512, and the 541. I'll be going over the fit, the measurements, and at the end of this video, I'll be doing a comparison between each pair, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And hopefully at the end of this video, you'll know exactly which jeans are best for you. So let's get started. Let's start off with the 510 skinny fit. The hip measures to 18 and 3 quarter inches, rise 11 inches, thighs 10 inches, and leg opening is 6 inches. The 510 fits exactly how skinny jeans should fit. It's skinny from the hip down to the ankles. There's not much breathing room in my legs right now. These jeans are completely hugging my legs. It sits at the waist with a zip fly and a very slim 6 inch leg opening. If you're thinking about getting the 510, I highly recommend getting a pair with some elastane stain in it. Because if there's zero stretch in the fabric, you most likely have a hard time putting these on and taking them off. Even if you're on the thinner side, I still recommend to get these with some stretch because it'll feel so much more comfortable on you. Onto the 5'11 slim fit. The hip measures to 19 and a half inches, thighs 11 inches, rise 10 and 3 quarter inches, and leg opening is 7 inches. The 5'11 have a slim fit from the hip to the ankle. It sits below the waist with a zip fly. These jeans give your legs a bit more breathing room than the 5'10, but still gives off a nice tailored look that really makes your legs look great. The leg opening is 7 inches, which I found to be a very versatile opening. And what I mean by that is that these jeans will look good with both sneakers and boots. I always thought that wearing skinny jeans with boots will make you look like you have big clown feet, but with the 5'11s and his 7 inch leg opening, I think this is the perfect balance that'll make you look great with both sneakers and boots. The 5'11 is one of the most popular jeans of all time, and it's also one of my favorites. On to the 5'12 Slim Taper. The hip measures to 19 inches, thighs 10 and a half inches, rise 10 and a half inches, and leg opening is 6 inches. This is one of Levi's newest fit. Imagine if the 510 and 511 had a baby, that baby would be the 512. From the knee up, the fit is exactly the same as the 511, and from the knee down, the fit is the same as the 510. The 512 is everything you love about the way slimmer jeans look without everything you hate about the way slimmer jeans feel. So if you're a fan of the 5.11 but wish the leg opening was more tapered, or if you're a fan of the 5.10 but wish there was more room in the thighs, then the 5.12 is for you. On to the 5.02 regular taper. The hip measures to 19 and a quarter inches, thighs 10 and a half inches, rise 10 inches, and leg opening is 6 and 3 quarter inches. The 502 regular taper is the slim version of the 505 regular fit. It has the same thigh opening at 10 and a half inches, but this has a smaller hip opening at 19 inches and a smaller leg opening at 6 and 3 quarter inches. This sits below the waist with a zip fly. From the knee up, there's just enough room in the thighs for it not to feel restrictive. And from the knee down, is not as slim as the 510 skinny or as wide as the 511 slim. It sits right in the middle. So if you think the leg opening of the 510 skinny is too small and the 511 is too big, then the 502 is for you. Overall, I like the fit and comfort of this pair a lot. And last but not least, the 541 athletic fit. The hip measures to 21 inches, thighs 11 and a half inches, rise 10 inches, and leg opening is 7 and a half inches. As the name implies, the athletic fit is built for my thick boys out there who needs a little more room in the seat and hips but still want that nice tapered leg opening. From the knee up, the 541 fits exactly the same as the 559 relaxed straight jeans. So you have all the comfort that you'll find in a relaxed fit, but without the bagginess from the knee down. You'll notice that the jeans will start to taper from about the middle of the thigh all the way down to the leg opening. But the leg opening doesn't taper as much as the 511. It sits right in the middle of a relaxed fit and a slim fit. Overall, these are very comfortable jeans and if you have above average thighs and butt, then these would be perfect for you. 
And now, time for the comparison. Starting off with the 510, 511, and 512, the 512 is a hybrid between the 510 and 511. From the knee up, the hip and thigh measurements of the 512 are exactly the same as 511. From the knee down, the 512 fits the same as the 510 skinny, so you get the best of both worlds for the 512. As for the differences between the 510 and 511, just a quick disclaimer, the 511 I'm wearing are in a size 31, compared with size 30 on the 510, but the measurements have been adjusted to reflect if the 511 were in a size 30. Anyways, the hip opening is very similar, there's only a quarter inch difference. In the thighs, there's a half an inch larger opening on the 511, and for the leg opening, the 511 has a one inch larger leg opening than the 510. The differences in the thigh and leg doesn't seem like much, but it really does make a difference in terms of comfort and fit as you guys can see. Let's take a look at the 502 regular taper. Compared with the 512 Slim Taper, the 502 has a quarter inch more room in the hips and the thigh opening is exactly the same at 10 and a half inches. So from the knee up, the fit is almost identical. The leg opening is 3 quarters larger on the 502 than the 512. It doesn't taper down as aggressively as the 512, so your calves will have more breathing room, but it also doesn't open as wide as the 511. So these sit right in the middle of 511 and 512 in terms of leg opening. Lastly, let's take a look at the 541 Athletic Fit. These have the largest hip, thigh, and leg opening out of all five jeans. As you guys can see, it's significantly more roomier than the rest, which makes these the most comfortable jeans. From the knee up, the 541 has the same exact measurements of the 559 relaxed straight, which I'm actually impressed how they're able to take a relaxed fitting jean and taper it down so much. The 7.5 inch leg opening is wider than all the other four jeans we talked about, but you can't have a relaxed fit jean tapered down to as much as the 510 skinny because the proportions will look awkward. I think Levi's did a great job with these. If you have a big booty and thick thighs, the 541 is a no brainer. Now which is the best and which is the worst? Let's start at the top with my favorite. It's a close call but I have to go with the 511. I think the 7 inch leg opening really makes a difference in terms of comfort and versatility. These jeans will look great if you decide to wear either sneakers or boots whereas if you wear the 510, 512, or 502, I think the slimmer leg opening on those will make your feet look extra big if you decide to pair them up with boots. And not too far behind, my second favorite is a tie between the 502 and the 512. Even though there's a quarter inch more room in the hip on the 502, honestly these jeans felt the same to me which isn't surprising since the measurements are almost identical from the knee up. From the knee down, it felt a little too restricted to my liking, so that's why I have to bump this down under the 511. Now moving to the bottom of my list, number 4, I have to go with the 541 Athletic Fit. Don't get me wrong, 541 is a great pair of jeans and very comfortable, but for my average sized legs, it was a bit too roomy on me, which is the whole point of these jeans, so I can't really complain. Again, if you got a bigger booty and thighs, then these jeans will most likely be your favorites. And finally, my least favorite fit is the 510 Skinny. I've never been a big fan of skinny jeans, mostly because of the comfort. It's way too restrictive on me and it's a real struggle to put these on and even more of a struggle to take them off. But don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on skinny jeans. If you're into skinny fits, then by all means the 510 is the one for you. This is all based on my opinion, we all have different body shapes, so something that doesn't feel comfortable on me might feel comfortable on you. But hopefully the measurements I gave in this video will give you a clear understanding of what to expect on how each jean will fit. So out of all 5, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And that's it for this week's video. If this video helped you guys out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bling! Do it again! See you next time! Beow!